What's up guys, welcome back to Struggle, back to another video, and in today's video, we are working on some cars, and on the last video, I was showing you guys a new shop, possibly a new shop, uh, ended up those two shops, honestly, I wasn't too keen with it, I, I wanna, it's honestly like I'm paying for a half uh, office, half garage, and the garage was so tight that I honestly don't think we could fit a lift anywhere, so long story short, um, I passed up on those two shops, there was two other shops that we saw today, which, you know what, I think I'm gonna go ahead and throw in right now. So this is a shop in North Highlands, you've been looking kinda closer to us, but unfortunately, Everything's just too expensive and you have more office space than garage space. So this is a shop over here in North Highlands. Um, it's, a, it's again, it's a far drive, but I mean, it might be worth it. It's a little cheaper and I think it's exactly what we're looking for. Come on in. So this is the office. It is tiny. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I'm happy it's not an actual office. And basically, I can actually put up some shelves and just put parts right here. So that works. And this is way more doable. <laughs> Yes, okay, all right. Definitely won't fit three cars though. I mean, it may look kind of big in the video, guys, but basically, uh, we have, oh, what? This is not the normal outlet. So if we gotta plug in some crazy machinery, man, we got it right there. It's actually another 24 volt outlet right up there. These are, I just have to clean electricians to install those, which is super nice. So, uh, yeah, this, I believe, fit about two cars side by side, and that's about it, that's about it. But if we got a lift right here, I'm gonna fit in three cars. If it's really snug, it'll work. So, woo! I'm a little hyped, guys. I'm a little hyped. Better than that. Better than I was expecting, honestly. Bathroom. Of course, no electricity. Nothing comes free in California. You gotta pay for everything. But I mean, just standard bathroom with a kind of an ugly boob down there. Might have to do some retrofitting if you know what I mean. But um, we got some natural sunlight. This is a door, I think it actually goes to the shop right next to me. I think that's if you end up getting the two shops next to each other and go back to back between both doors. But I'm just gonna keep that locked, obviously. But um, honestly, what do you think so far? It's nice. It's actually pretty nice for the money, so. Okay, well that's unit 118. Let's see if there's any between 118 and uh, 120. This one's already like, I feel like it's a little bit cleaner. I, don't think I feel so. like the walls are sh like freshly painted. Um, and, that, and that's not a big deal. Kind of the layout is honestly the same, it's not the opposite. All right, this is too small. Too small. This one's got space, but I don't need it. This one actually goes back there. I think 118 is the move. I mean, I, I think the last one is the move. Yes, this one can only probably fit like one car. Or maybe two cars if you have a lift. Or maybe if you break one like this, it, it just, it's, it's not practical whatsoever. And this one doesn't actually have the 24 volt outlets either. From those two shops, guys, I think they're both pretty awesome. I like the atmosphere that it's in. I'll show you guys the surrounding areas, what's, what it's next to, um, because we're gonna be collaborating more in that location as well. It is about 30 minutes, 35 minutes from me on a good day. Um, on a bad time of the day, it's like 45 to an hour. But I mean, hey, I'm gonna make it best work because guys, I have some future plans for the channel that I really want it to happen. And in order to do that, you know, like I, I just need the space. I need a lift. So long story short, I think we're gonna bite the bullet. You guys have been wanting me. I saw the comments. You guys really want me to get a shop. So it looks like it's gonna happen. Um, uh, but yeah, as of right now, before we actually head over to Blake and get to the topic of today's video, we were with my brother. So my brother actually went to Erlan's place and replaced the door. Erlan had another door, shout out to Erlan, that was super clutch. It just so happened to be this door. It just so happened to be the exact same color as the car. So that was, like, I yeah, honestly, Erlan came in clutch for that. No. Bro, Erlan came no. super, and he actually brought this from Texas. Like he brought it as like an extra thing. So everything happens in life for a reason, but basically the door that we ended up buying for like a hundred dollars, which was kind of overpriced, uh, ended up being kind of buckled. The guy that I bought it from did say he got into a, like a tree wreck and uh, from that side of the car, but it looks like it could have honestly buckled up the door or something like that with, from the impact. And I think that's what messed up the fitment, which actually resulted in some water getting in, a little bit of water getting inside the car. So we're gonna be doing for this car, uh, just for right now, before we actually head over to Blake's and start working on the E36 M3, we're gonna just gonna go ahead and wrap this door and then uh, pull up the carpets and just see if there's any water down there. And if there is, we're gonna take, take all that water out uh, so you know it doesn't mold up or have any electrical issues down the road. Uh, and obviously just a little bit of water in there, but just for that peace of mind, um, and obviously it's my brother's car, we don't want anything mold enough and then it becomes kind of toxic to be in the car. Cause I never buy water damaged cars cause I'm personally afraid of them. Cause uh, what can you get from like water damaged cars? Uh, you get like a pneumonia and, pneumonia and it affects your lungs. Yeah. yeah, so I don't, me and my brother do not want that. Obviously it hasn't gotten to that point, but we don't want it to get to that point. Cause once it gets to that point, oh buddy. So yeah, anyways, let's, let's go ahead and just take care of everything. Let's start off with wrapping this door.
And just like that, guys, we got the whole door replaced, working as it should. Guys, look at the fitment. Erlon is just a dream worker. This fitment is way better, bro, than it originally was. So, uh, you happy, my G? I'm so happy. Look at that. Bro, it looks so good now. I mean, and thankfully now, since everything's sealed up properly, all the gaskets are actually sitting right. We're not gonna have any water leaking inside the car. We're actually gonna be removing this seat real quick and actually removing the rear seats real quick so we can pick up on the carpet and make sure we don't have any more like water corrosion or anything underneath the carpet to so just get all that cleaned up. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just remove those two seats. <laughs> Um, guys, it's a good thing we're gonna go ahead and take care of this because, oh my god, there are some drain screws right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let's go ahead and drain this water. Oh my lord. Also, this thing needs to dry off properly. Okay, not too much water in the front, thankfully, but uh, we do have some water in the front a little bit. So uh, this is actually drenched with water. The front's also drenched in water. This entire side, we've got all the water out of here. We've got a lot of water, but this thing, guys, every time I squeeze on it, look at the water just coming right on out. So uh, yeah, unfortunately, if we just leave it like this, and thankfully I don't see any mold right now, but I feel like if we leave it like this for a long time, it will all get moldy and then this car will just be terrible. So uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna have to bite the bullet and just get through all the work and remove the center console, remove the driver's seat, remove all the eight pillars like we did on this side and uh, literally rip out the entire carpet. I think it's the only way to do it and I think it's the best way to do it. So without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and do it. We just removed the section of the carpet, guys, and we pretty much cut underneath the center console so you'll never actually notice that. So we got the front section out. Luckily we did, because this is full of water right here. We are gonna dry this off outside the car and we're actually gonna remove the whole rear section. So we're actually removing the driver's seat as well. But anyway, my brother's gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna head over to Blake's house because he's home and we can start working on the E36 M3. I really wanna start getting those door panels on. And right now guys, we are heading over to Blake's house to start working on the E36 M3. Hopefully my brother can get the rest of the stuff done. But uh, yeah, I really wanna fix this exhaust leak. It is absolutely terrible. And I really need to get some door cards on this car because it's looking kind of fugly if you ask me. So uh, yeah. Heading down to Blake's house. Hopefully, um, he's all situated. And uh, shout out to him for honestly helping me with this car because uh, it's a mess and he's way more experienced in building track cars than I am. So I think it'll be kind of a fun collaboration. And just like that, guys, we are here at Blake's garage. Literally. <laughs> well, this is my garage, actually, right over here. This YouTube channel is Blake's garage, so that's kind of ironic. But I mean, hey, Hizzles. We are here, and this is the man, the myth, the legend that told me it is possible to swap this with a manual transmission. I know it's possible, but my hands can't do it. I mean, like, We're going to make it happen. He, he's going to help me make it happen. When I mean by help, I mean like, I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna be like, more <laughs> help me pick this up. I'll, I'll just be do. like the guy that helps him with the gloves and stuff. Yeah. Any yeah. that is the goal. So yeah, when I say we're actually doing a manual swap, I know you guys don't believe me, but I have Blake and he's done it, right? I did it in my E30. So shouldn't be that hard. E36, pretty much the same thing. So that's gonna be the plan. Hopefully in the upcoming of like couple of days. Uh, I don't know when it's gonna be up for you guys. We'll probably do it like the next week or something, yeah. which would be pretty crazy. Yep. Uh, but as of today, uh, yeah, we want to do some interior modifications. So we actually got these from Turtle Laboratories, which not much companies actually make door card deletes for the E36 sedan. There's a lot of companies that make them for the E36 coupes, convertibles, but not the sedan. And these actually look pretty good. Like, what do you think, bro? These look really good. Uh, these are the eBay specs, but just because they're on <laughs> eBay doesn't mean that it's necessarily a junk brand like most eBay stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. Actual people like you and me could sell on eBay and have cool stuff. And that's why it's eBay Marketplace, right? So Turtle Labs, they got these bad boys. They're awesome. Uh, if you guys look at another company and you're like, man, I really want these ones that start with an M. Do not buy those ones that start with <laughs> yeah, an M. something they personally against absolute them. trash. You I'm gonna, I'm gonna shout it out right now. Hold on. Macaw, <laughs> they suck. <laughs> okay, so don't choose that company. I paid $150 to get them shipped back. They were that bad. Really? And they were $300. Yep. Oh my God, that seems, okay, well, there you guys have it. These are, so just to put it out there, these guys do a legit product right here. You can cut that out if you want to. <laughs> no, we're good. So this all looks to be nicely cut out. It's kind of laser cut, probably on a plasma. They seem to be 
aluminum they're aluminum so yeah we got the way. the strap uh, modification so also what's cool about them they actually give you the option if you guys want to have speakers um if you guys even want to just have this or just the strap itself i ended up opting for everything because i kind of want to have this as a daily yeah. as well no, that's, cool. that's the driver's one so i even have the control switch for the side mirrors yeah. which is pretty nice these i believe rent me like only 300 dollars for all four doors i think that's a pretty good deal no it's a great deal especially for what they look like so we're gonna use a rib nut tool i think a drill rib nut tool you got some amazon special stuff <laughs> Probably have no already know down below. Oh, yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Those <laughs> Amazon links. Uh, Help a man down we'll below. Put them in. Put them in. Yeah. yeah, I mean, this is I've never done it before. Um, I don't know how difficult it's gonna be. I just end up ordering everything, and I guess Blake's gonna be showing you guys the secrets to how you actually mount a uh, door card delete. I removed well, I the door this, cards, obviously. This but. Is the first mod right here. <laughs> Bam, we're already halfway done. <laughs> All right, so I guess we're gonna be starting to drill holes or how do you actually rivet yeah, stuff? Yeah, so we're gonna end up drilling holes. We're gonna put this thing up. We'll probably start to see if there's any holes. That line maybe, up at all? Maybe one of these holes already uh, lines up. We'll Which would be ideal. Up. And then uh, from there, we'll kind of get the template going. We'll mark the holes. We use like a centering punch, self-centering punch, get those, drill the holes, rib nut them, and then use the uh, hardware that Nor bought that I'll also link down below because Amazon I hope is, I have it. you know, prime. <laughs> <laughs> got that prime stuff uh and we'll we'll make this happen we'll make it screw on and it'll be nice and easy right on so these are all the rivet pieces that we're going to end up needing. I got all those from Amazon. So if you guys see us using either these screws or the, the where it actually screws into, we got all these from Amazon. I have these linked down below. Uh, but yeah, these are the parts we're actually needing. We actually have all the original parts. I got off the old door panels. So you're going to be reinstalling the speakers, uh, the side mirror things, the, the window, all those switches, everything. These are all going to be reinstalled. So uh, I wish I had a better speaker on this one, but I guess we can always remove those and add that another day. But any hoozles. Nor was saying when he purchased this car from Vin from Hoonigan, if you guys don't know who that is awesome channel but uh i actually found this thing on instagram they yeah. posted it real <laughs> quick you guys don't know the backstory uh that he that he wanted to get rid of this car it was like what six grand i was like dude six grand buy this. and i was literally like 20 minutes away yeah. from him. like i was just so happened to be in la when he posted that yeah like, and i was like oh i mean uh, uh yeah let's do it <laughs> so he was trying to get into the dms with him i'm like dude shooting them back and forth trying to get pictures and everything and anyways nor made it happen no so. blake made it happen i ended up just getting the car and i brought it here <laughs> and i made it your problem with the car all the windows worked which if you guys are aware that is crazy boots, right and the two doors uh pretty much everybody has issues with the front driver for sure bro, even the rear ones how they go in like sideways and yeah. stuff bro those have so much issues you guys are actually recording on my phone now because it died rip but i mean we're not going to give up on the content <laughs> so no. So anyways, all the window regulators work in this car, uh, which is awesome. Now, the reason for that is a coupe is frameless. And by that, I mean the actual window itself does not have a frame, it's just the glass. So every time you shut the door on a two door, it goes and the, the, the window itself goes up, kind of like my M4 does, right? And some yeah. of the newer cars. So on this, we actually have a frame. And because we have a frame, we have guides that go all the way up and we have channels that go all the way up and the thing doesn't get derailed and get all screwed up. So that is an absolute plus. So pretty much what we're gonna do is just hold this up here for right now, uh, kind of get an idea of where we're looking centered on the actual hand door handle. Uh, and then we're gonna mark this with a self-centering punch. So we'll pretty much start with one hole, get that hole done and tapped. That way we have a pivot point that everything else kind of lines up against. This is a self-centering punch. Use it to mark holes or break people's windows whatever you want to do <laughs> i'm actually seeing you'll break windows with yeah. that if you see one of these in a guy's pocket this is a shame don't trust them don't trust that guy <laughs> guys blake's the man i was one on my windows and it was squeaking so hard and he was like let's lube and i'm like eh, it's all right but he was like nope i'm gonna do it oh but it's grinding so hard okay right here so these little channels there's a little plastic piece that it rides in and anyways we're gonna put some white lithium grease I guess it needs time to lubricate more. <laughs> it's better. It's possible those little plastic pieces are dead, so maybe uh, disregard my total confidence in these doors. But those little plastic pieces are like three bucks. Hey, but it works. You see how fast the thing goes up and down? Pretty good. If you hear those sounds, those are um, those are sports brakes, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Any of those. All right, so this is a rivet nut right here. So it's basically a rivet and a nut in one. You guys are unaware of what that is. That means we can rivet this into the car. And then after that, we can use a bolt or a screw and actually screw into that and make this threaded. So we're just gonna make the hole, 
we're gonna crimp this in or rivet it in with the rivet nut tool. So using a quarter inch dive. So we thread into this. And then once we get it tight, we basically hold it in there and then we squeeze, all right? And now we can thread it in a little bit more. Squeeze again. Boring! <clears throat> Unthread this. Now, that thing is sturdy. We have a threaded hole. So now we can actually just screw something right in. And then Oof. we're gonna do that like 10 times. And then this thing is gonna be, or probably more than 10 times. <laughs> but anyways, we're gonna do that a bunch of times. Oh, and then it's bro, gonna be it on looks there. so good, dude. Yeah. I'm excited. Heck yeah, let's do it. So we're throwing in the speakers real quick. Not really sure about the orientation. Obviously there is the plug, so we'll get that going afterwards, but we'll just kind of do it like this. Ooh, fits nice. There's okay, actually, there's the orientation. Yeah, there's yeah, a yeah, tab yeah. right there. There we go, perfect. So that's super, ooh, oh, bro, look at that flush ooh, fit, man, dude. That is nice. <laughs> that's what yeah, I'm talking that about. Yeah, that that's clean. Good job, Turtle Labs. <laughs> I'm loving it. You gotta throw in that, I like turtles. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that looks so good, dude. Oh, dude, and that's, yeah, I think like door cards like this will vibrate a little bit because obviously I, it's tin, but. With this many screws though, I don't think too much though. Yeah, it's not gonna be too bad. Oh, it just looks so good. I really hope this piece right here actually ends up working out. Yeah, I hope so. I think that'd be pretty sick. Guys, look at these holes, bro. You did a good job. These are lining up perfectly. And just like that, guys, we have the door cards in. Look how good that looks. We even got this plastic thing in there. It's not going anywhere. It just has a little gap, but honestly, guys, it looks so much better. Um, these are also black hardware. The reflecting of the light makes it look silver but there's a black i'm actually gonna be cleaning all this up as well so anywho but right now we have the two speakers in there we got the one wire sticking out for that but just looks so good this is operational everything's working once we get the strap that's gonna be on there bro like you did such a good job bro killed it so good so now we just got three other ones to go <laughs> it, it took, took us a while, while. yeah that's it's the first one, but I probably. mean, yeah, yeah. But I mean, kind of got a method down now. Hopefully, we're gonna knock out the rest of these and probably, I'm hoping like two hours or something. And two hours later, well, technically the next morning, let me show you guys the door cards. This is very traditional, but I mean, hey, it's kind of cool, not gonna lie. It honestly feels like a race car type of thing. But yeah, guys, check out these door cards. So yeah, these door cards that I'm getting from Turtle Labs, I am gonna have to get a new speaker right here because it just looks kind of bad, but look how good and flush that is. Unfortunately, this button right here, when I did install it, you guys can see there's a slight gap back here, but that's also because of the, the piece and the way it's designed. Um, so yeah, that's just how that's gonna be. Honestly, guys, um, I would probably opt it without it um, just because I, I wanted this to be as clean as possible. I am gonna try to get some uh, straps right here. I'm gonna try to get some yellow straps because I'm gonna try to have a yellow and black theme these carpets are gonna have to go as soon as possible but yeah let me know down below guys does this look like a job well done or what i think this looks super sick ended up cleaning this stuff up as well uh, i'm probably gonna try to grind these clips off right here we'll have to see because uh, i don't really want to do too much that will affect like the oem plus type of look but yeah guys this is so much nicer i also love how there's a little rail for this thing so it doesn't move too much it's kind of cool if it come over to the rear unfortunately this one has a lot of place so i don't know if there's a kind of bracket that i can buy that I can kind of nail in and keep it kind of standing up like that. I think it'd be super sick if I could find something like that. Again, I just want this to be as clean as possible. I got most of the goo off, but I'll have to remove some of the rest of the goo. But yeah, the rear is on here. The rear didn't go as perfect as I would have liked. This thing doesn't go in as deep, so I couldn't actually put on the plastic piece. But again, these are the rears. No one's actually gonna sit in the rear, but it looks so much better. Like, look at it, look at it from this side, guys. We're definitely gonna have to fabricate our own rear seat delete. No one actually makes those, so I'm probably gonna try to fabricate my own. I'm actually gonna probably do a roof delete as well because I wanna add a case in here and uh, I feel like it just it's, it's just gonna fit the theme completely plus this roof is sagging entirely so uh, it needs to go if there's one thing I could have asked for them to change with this door card uh, the rear door cards as you guys can see the screws are kind of close to the edges like right here it's kind of close like right here it's further in which I prefer um, but also something that I realized when drilling in this hole it actually goes into the window regulator so I didn't want to drill further in and actually put a screw because that might actually mess up the window right that the window regulator, I mean the door regulator I there's so many cars in my area hopefully 
hopefully once we get the shop guys we won't have this sound issue hopefully if everything goes through we'll end up getting that shop but anyways just want to say if you guys actually like these door cards these are from turtle lives i'll have the link down below this is my first ever track car build and i know i said a million times i'm gonna be trying to do manual swaps and actually try to do a full-on track car but i never actually fulfilled that promise well i'm gonna be telling you guys today that this promise will be fulfilled by the end of the week i think tomorrow or today we're gonna be starting to do the manual swap i think it's gonna take like a two or three day full project because we also got the massive like brake and everything so we're doing full send on this car oh my god those cars are so loud but it's gonna be absolutely insane so if you guys are excited to see the upcoming videos make sure to smash that like button if you guys are excited to see the new shop and the the, the reason i'm actually the reason i'm actually getting the shop make sure to smash that like button because i'm actually getting that shop because of a crazy build not even this one a crazier build that i have in mind that i'll actually need to remove the motor and all that stuff and i need this shop to do all that stuff so if you guys are excited for some crazy bmw content make sure to smash the like button without further ado guys i love you all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you guys in the next one peace out yeah yeah let's go I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on the earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have words.